close your eyes and try to bring your mind in alignment with the body. The body is right here. So bring the mind right here. And have them settle down together in peace and harmony. Notice how the way you breathe has an impact on the body, has an impact on the mind. If the body is uncomfortable, change the way you breathe. If the mind is uncomfortable, you change the way you breathe. Find a way of a breathing that's amenable both to the body and to the mind. Because there's a strength that comes from harmony. This is a principle that applies both inside and outside. Outside, the Buddha teaches principles for creating harmony in a group. The first is that you're generous with one another. If you get something special, you share it with other members of the, of the group. And you also are generous with your time, generous with your knowledge, generous with your forgiveness. And that creates a sense of belonging together. You know, it erases a lot of boundaries. This is how you erase a boundary, is you give something over what was a boundary before, and then the boundary is gone. The second principle is kind words. If you have something critical to say, make sure that it really is useful. And that you say it with respect. The worst thing you can do is show contempt for one another. Just because somebody doesn't know what you know or they're not as good as you are in something doesn't mean you have the right to have any contempt for them. That certainly doesn't help send the message that they want to continue staying with you. So try to show some respect when you're critical. A lot of people I know just throw critical phrases around as if they're just common common coin. And that's the problem, is they become common and they, they start eating away at society. If we only said things that were useful, true, and beneficial, this would be a very different world. And we can't wait for everybody out there to be useful, true, and beneficial in their words. But you can start from within. And within whatever group you're in, be very careful about your speech. At least that group will be a good group. The third principle is that when you help one another, it really is genuine help. You think about their long-term welfare. You're not just doing it to present appearances. You're thinking about what is their genuine need, and if you, and any way you have of helping with, with that need, you're happy to do it. The fourth principle is consistency. The way you behave in front of somebody is the same as the way you behave behind the back. That's why we can live with, with trust. That there's nothing going on in behind the scenes. The principle of consistency also means that if you help people in the past, you help them in, on in the future. It's when we can learn how to rely on one another this way. That a group is going to be solid, and there's going to be harmony. And you have the same principles applying inside. Be generous with your attention to the breath. As you breathe in, breathe out. The more you give of the mind to the breathing, the more comfortable it's going to be and the more the mind's going to receive in return. Speak kindly to the mind when it wanders off, firmly but kindly. You do have to criticize the mind when it does wander off, but you can do it in a way that maintains its desire to keep on practicing. You look for what is a genuine benefit, in other words, the training of the mind. And you're consistent. You keep at this again and again and again. You don't do it just for a little while and then forget, and then a little while and forget. You keep at it continually. And the mind and the body are going to get along together. You're going to see the mind in ways that you didn't see it before. Understand the mind and the body in ways you didn't understand them before. That makes it easier to live in greater and greater harmony all the time. So these principles apply both inside and out. That way we have strength both inside and out because we're working together instead of at cross-purposes. And this is how true well-being is found in the world.